by John Baldwin Jr. In sixth place after the short program, just a little more than two points out of third place, though, when you look at that bronze medal. And, Peter, they've made it commonplace. That throw triple axle, they did it at the U.S. Nationals. They did it at the Olympics. Now they've done it at the World Championships. They'll look to do it again here in the free skate. what they've got going for them. They are in great shape. They can land this throw triple axle under pressure. They've proven that. They just have to skate with control. Opening side-by-side -side triple toe loops. A big hurdle for John. He's missed that a lot this season. That was positive. speed across the ice, yet settled, confident. The first of their big throws, the throw triple loop. seventh place finish at the Olympics. This would by far be their best finish at the World Championships. Last year they came in 11th in Moscow, 10th the two previous years. And remember this team was in danger of not even making the Olympics. They were in fourth after the short program at the U.S. Nationals needed a huge comeback. Triple Axel, they're trying to hit this for the second time here at the World Championships. She is just extraordinary, determined to land that under pressure, run it in a way, fantastic. That hand was oh so close to the ice on that landing, Peter. the rest of this program with speed and conviction. Forward takeoff to one hand and then at the 
very end. She will land forwards, and they have completed it. They made it through without any mistakes, hitting the throw triple axle for the second time. Peter Uppergaard, I think he's more happy about the fact that John landed his triple toe loop. Great way to start off the program when he did that. So yes. you knew they had some confidence going. Peter Opegaard, an Olympic bronze medalist himself. Look at all the American flags here in Calgary. Exactly right. I talked to him before the competition. He said, I think Renna can land these two throw triple axles in the world championships, but it's John's triple that he wanted to see him do. So when do we stop talking about the throw triple axle? They're doing it every time out now. It's, yes. <laughs> they're making it look yes. easy. Yes. Rena Inouye, John Baldwin Jr., the fine line between success and failure, almost missing a chance to go to the Olympics, coming back at Nationals. Rena gave up her Japanese citizenship just to have a chance to be an American citizen, represent the U.S. with John at the Olympics. They go there, they skate well, they come here to Worlds looking for the best finish. They're going to get it. Rena from Tokyo and John from Santa Monica. He spent years, 14 times, he went to the U.S. National Championships as a singles skater. Finally said, you know what? I can't do the quad. I've got to get out of singles. I'm going to skate pairs. He and Rena come together. And at that point, I don't think many in the skating community thought that they would get to this point to make it to an Olympics, come in seventh, and now skate like this. Absolutely. You know, and they have worked so hard. Yeah, you did. over at those collars. Some from. happiness in that camp for sure. And this is a really important thing for them to do right here. The side-by-side -side triple toe loops. John has had so much trouble, but look at that. Just gets through it without any problem. That put them in a really good situation to set this program up. And Rena just kicks it off with a beautiful throw triple loop. Very solid. She's so strong. And he is careful not to throw her too hard here. This is it. The throw triple axle. See if a hand gets close to the ice oh, and touches down. And it does. So they will get some points off of that. And watch her right hand touch down right here. So... Minus one there. Peter Elfengard jumping along with them as it happens. Yeah, you can tell by his reaction that it was, it wasn't exactly clean. She put the hand down, so we'll see how much uh, that hurts them. Over, you mentioned the one point, but overall, see how much. 67-62, the artistic uh, side, 54-65, so 122.27 and 183.1. Seven for Inouye and Baldwin, Peter. Well, they go into the lead. A good performance for them. They should be happy with that. Great performance. Solid number. We'll see how that holds up here in Calgary as we roll on.